Today in Harvard Square, we're visiting a site associated with Mariah Baldwin. Mariah Louise Baldwin was born in 1856, a year after Boston schools were racially desegregated. Growing up in Cambridge, she attended public schools throughout her youth, graduating from Cambridge High School in 1874. She went on to graduate from Cambridge's teacher training program the following year, but struggled to find employment in the city as a teacher. Disappointed but not defeated, she found work in Maryland before the 1880 death of her father caused her to move back home. Once back in Cambridge, she finally found employment at a school named for the famous Harvard scientist and unfortunate proponent of eugenics, Louis Agassiz. As the only black faculty member of the predominantly white Agassiz School, she found her students were primarily children of Harvard professors and other affluent Cambridge intellectuals. Within a few years, she was a student favorite, kind and gentle, and always excellent with children. A former student of hers at the Agassiz, the famous poet E. E. Cummings, once said of her, Miss Baldwin, the dark lady mentioned in my first non-lecture, and a lady, if ever a lady existed, was blessed with a delicious voice, charming manners, and a deep understanding of children. Never did any demi-divine dictator more gracefully and easily rule a more unruly and less graceful populace. Her very presence emanated an honor and a glory, the honor of spiritual freedom, not mere freedom from, and the glory of being, not like most extant mortals, really undead, but actually alive. From her, I marvelingly learned that the truest power is gentleness. Nine years after becoming a teacher at the Agassiz, she was appointed the principal there, soon after to become headmaster. Often cited as an example of progress in her time, she owned the distinction of occupying the highest level position of any African American in all of American education at the time. She pioneered the first open-air classrooms, possibly nationally, and hired the first school nurse at any Cambridge school. She introduced the first art classes in Cambridge public schools, taught new methods of learning mathematics, organized the city's first parent-teacher organization, and took classes of her own at Radcliffe to keep up with new teaching practices, making her one of the first students of color there. As a member of the League of Women for Community Service in Cambridge, she exposed many women to the levels of horror and racism which seemed distant in the South. In 1919, she invited members of a black regiment from World War I to discuss their fears of what the war had done in arming and training racist Southerners who had formerly had no experience with weapons. Two years later, she would invite survivors of the Tulsa, Oklahoma, Black Wall Street massacre to speak to the group about how a mob of white citizens shot, lynched, and dropped bombs from crop-dusting airplanes on the affluent black community, destroying it and killing hundreds of innocent men, women, and children. Her funeral in 1922 drew famous names in civil rights, such as Clement Morgan and W.E.B. Du Bois, both close friends of hers. In 2002, the Agassiz School had a student by the name of Nathaniel Vogel. After reading of Louis Agassiz's racist, pseudo-scientific beliefs, he pushed the city of Cambridge to rename the school after its longtime headmistress. Today, the school proudly bears the name of Mariah Baldwin.